Alright guys, so a few of you have been asking me about my thoughts on the Knobs toothpaste tablets and I have not really thought about them because I've never tried them, but now I've tried them and so here are my thoughts on them. Let's talk about it. Okay, so first and most obvious, these are toothpaste tablets. So if you've never tried toothpaste tablets before, it's a bit of an adjustment compared to traditional toothpaste. So normally when you chew something, the next step would be to swallow it. Not so with toothpaste tablets. So it feels a little bit weird to chew something up and then just let it sit in your mouth. It took some getting used to for me, but otherwise it's not a big deal. Just a heads up. The big issue I had with toothpaste tablets, and I've only tried one other brand really, but the problem I had with that brand was once I chewed up the tablets it felt really slimy on my teeth which was not a very pleasant experience so I was a little bit weary when I was getting ready to try these knobs toothpaste tablets but I was pleasantly surprised no slimy feeling in fact the uh, texture and the flavor profile I got the mint ones was really nice so no complaints there now let's talk about the ingredients real quick so the active ingredient in these knobs toothpaste tablets is hydroxyapatite now if you have if you haven't heard anything about hydroxyapatite, I have made a couple of videos explaining what hydroxyapatite is, how it works, how it compares to fluoride. So if you need some more information on that, I'll leave a couple of links uh, in the description below. But basically hydroxyapatite is an ingredient that helps to remineralize your enamel and protect against cavities similar to fluoride minus the toxicity. Now there is some debate as to which concentration and particle size is necessary for the hydroxyapatite to be effective. So let's start with the particle size. So there is micro and then there's nanoparticles and the consensus is in order for the hydroxyapatite to be effective it needs to be the nano sized particles. The good news is Knob's toothpaste tablets have nano sized particles rod shaped in case you're wondering so good on them for that. Now in terms of the concentration this this is where it gets to be a little bit of a gray area. Some studies say that you need at least 10% for the hydroxyapatite to be effective and other studies say that 10% is really the maximum necessary. Any more doesn't make it more effective and less can still be effective depending on you know other ingredients and all that. So I'm sorry I wish I was a scientist with a PhD or whatever to be able to give you first-hand information but unfortunately I'm not, I'm just a hygienist, so all I can do is relay the information that I find in studies. So it seems like maybe 10% is kind of the magic number, but basically the Knobs toothpaste tablets have a 5% hydroxyapatite concentration. So for some of you, this may be a game changer. Wait, no, what's the, the ball breaker? <laughs> not a ball breaker. What's like the cutoff, like what's the saying for cutoff game breaker? Deal breaker. Oh my God my words today. Anyway, so for some of you this may be a deal breaker, but I'll talk about how effective I found these toothpaste tablets to be on my own teeth in just a little bit, so hold that thought. Now in terms of the rest of the ingredients, this toothpaste is actually pretty clean. There's no weird stuff, no BS, right? Knobs, get it? The one thing I will mention about the ingredients is it doesn't have SLS, which is an ingredient that causes the toothpaste to foam up, but it's pretty irritating to the gums for most people. It does have a different um, coconut-based surfactant, but my one complaint would be it just feels like there's way too much foaminess. At this point, I'm used to using toothpaste that barely foam up at all, and so that may be part of the problem, but it just felt like as soon as I chewed up the tablet and started brushing, I would get like a mouthful of whipped cream. It just felt like too much. So I actually ended up biting the tablet in half, if you can see that, and uh, saving the other half for another brushing session. And that seemed to help a little bit, but it still did foam up quite a bit. So that would be my one complaint. I was gonna say my other complaint is this toothpaste is quite expensive, but I recently visited their website and actually, I don't know why I thought it was expensive. I think I was looking at like a bulk package. It was $45 or something like that. But basically for a two month supply, 62 tablets, it comes out to be about $15, which I would 
would say is actually very reasonably priced for a hydroxyapatite toothpaste. Now, considering the fact that I would actually bite my toothpaste tablets in half and use half per session, that could actually be like a four month supply. So not as expensive as I originally thought. So no complaint there. The other thing I was gonna complain about is they only have mint flavor. And I prefer not to use mint in the evenings for my evening oral care routine, just cause mint is a neural stimulant and I want to be relaxed before bed. But again, I visited their site and I was surprised to find that they actually have a few other flavors now, including grape, citrus, and vanilla. So I'm actually thinking about trying some of their other flavors too. But basically no complaints about this toothpaste other than the foaminess factor. By the way, if you guys are finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now, all of these things are fine and good, but bottom line, how effective is this toothpaste? So the biggest thing that hydroxyapatite toothpaste boast of is that they help with sensitivity and smoothing out your enamel over time, which results in less staining. So less sensitivity and less staining with regular use of hydroxyapatite toothpaste. So I've been using the Knobs toothpaste tablets for about a month now, and I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. Now I didn't take any before or after pictures for you guys. To be honest, I've actually been using hydroxyapatite toothpaste, different brands for several years now. So not to sound cocky, but my teeth are in pretty good shape as it is. So I can't really give you an opinion of like, oh, I've been using this traditional toothpaste and here I started using the knobs and suddenly I have no sensitivity and no staining, blah, blah, blah. The one thing I can tell you guys is I've had sensitive teeth before and I've had staining before. And over the years of using hydroxyapatite toothpaste, that has gone away. And so since using the knobs toothpaste tablets, my sensitivity and my staining has not returned. So... I'll take that as a good sign and that the Knobs tablets are working. So anyway, there you have it, Knobs toothpaste tablets. If you guys want to try them out yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you guys are feeling adventurous, I would love to hear your thoughts on any other flavors you guys end up trying besides the mint. I'm especially curious about the grape flavor. Lastly, if you guys are interested in trying these out but you're not quite sure you wanna to commit to buying, I will be doing a giveaway of a full-sized box of Knobs toothpaste tablets. These are mint flavored. So if you want to enter the giveaway, first of all, you must have a US shipping address. I don't do international shipping at this time. And then just make sure to subscribe to my channel, comment below this video, and include this emoji in your comment, just so I know you're interested in entering the giveaway and you're not just commenting with a question or trolling or whatever. And then check back in a week to see if you won. I will pin a comment to the top of the comment section with the winner's handle. I cannot stress this enough. Time and time again, there have been winners who just never claim their prize. So if you enter the giveaway, set an alarm, you know, a week and a day from when this video is dropped uh, to check back and see if you won. All right, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your teeth. <laughs>